Hey y'all, I hope you guys are doing well today. So, today is Friday and it is the Barbie movie release day. I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. I am too. I'm actually seeing it tomorrow, so I'm really excited for that. I just been in love with like anything pink or girly aesthetic of Barbie for like all of my life. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited just to see what the movie is like. But I figured in celebration of Barbie and all her magical realness, I would share with you guys some of my favorite pink Barbie core bags that I have. Now I do have a lot of pink bags, so if you want to see my collection circa 2022, I do have a video on that that I did for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'll go ahead and put either in the cards above or down below. Before we get started, hi, hello, my name is Moni. If you haven't met me before, if you're coming back, thank you for coming back and joining us. I just want to take care of a few housekeeping things before we get into the core of this video. So I like making a lifestyle here and that fashion content. I do run a blog as well, so check out the blog down below. Like and subscribe if you like this type of content. If you are into planners, I know there's not a lot of planner girlies in my network yet, but if you are into planners, I do run a planner shop where I have free free if i can speak <laughs> where i have free printables i do have that linked down below as well and i do currently have a purse handbag tracker that is free for you to download just go to the links down below and you guys can find it there we are also still running this giveaway for giving out these two beautiful mirrors right here this is in the beautiful diva pink from chanel's color code collection and then this one is in the beautiful kind of like yellow lime like color we are giving these away to two subscribers who join us for us hitting the 1000 subscriber mark we are getting very close so if you are interested in winning one of these go ahead and just look for the giveaway information down below um and enter subscribe we're gonna hit 1000 hopefully soon and when we do we'll have a celebration where we uh give out these two to you guys so uh, let's start off with the chanel i believe this iridescent 19s with the pearlescent cc's is probably the most barbie bag that i own I absolutely love this walk. I recently posted a video of this walk on my channel. I did that video like back in December, but it's still relevant for today. But this is, oh my goodness, look at this bag. First get into the iridescent sheen. I believe this is the last collection that they did where they did iridescent and caviar leather, which is just a finishing, um, a more robust bust type finishing that Chanel offers. Um, so now most of the smaller like walks and um, you know minis come in lambskin, which isn't a problem by me, but I know a lot of people get worried with how delicate lambskin can seem to be. It's not all that, it really just depends on what lambskin you have. Um, lambskin's not all that bad, but I digress. Like, oh, it is so stinky pretty i love it and that's you're just gonna hear me say that a lot throughout this video today of just how pretty it is a quick tour of the walk in case you aren't familiar it is a half flap wallet on chain the chain is secured to the bag you do have this zipper up here which runs the entire length of the bag so Whatever you put in that zipper here will go all the way down to here, which is different than the classic flat because the zipper only like stops, the compartment rather, only stops like right there. You do have six card slots in the back right here. You have another center zipper compartment, which I generally use for cash or money or cash or coins, obviously, in there. And then you have another slip pocket right here. And in the back, you have the half moon lisa smile pocket um, i've had this bag since 2020 this was my second chanel piece that i have purchased and i absolutely love this bag i use it a lot um, it is has a special finish on it so metallics iridescents um, they are a bit more fragile just in general but i have used this piece a, a lot and there is not a lot of wear and tear 
on this piece. Um, so I feel like it's pretty durable um, and I absolutely love it. I used to have the large O case. However, that is currently MIA and I'm really, really sad about that. Um, but, you know, I still have her. I love her and I'm protecting her a lot more now because I do not want another incident like that. This next piece, I have a video of it done. I haven't uploaded it yet. So I'm thinking I'm gonna upload it soon. But the next piece I feel is like just very Barbie in my collection is the Return to Tiffany bag. I call it the mini heart bag. This is the small size and oh my goodness, this bag is so absolutely beautiful. This bag is also very unique to me too. You do not see a lot of people with this bag. Heart bags are all over the place right now. I have a coach heart bag. I wanted the Prada Odette heart bag so much and I was kicking myself because I literally had the black one and I put it back because I'm like, no, I want pink. And, Cause I'm not a black girl bag a black bag girl. We've talked about this before. Black bags really aren't my thing. So I put it back and then I'm like, oh no, I actually want it. Um, and just never got a hold of it again. Um, so I got this bag for Christmas. It was actually, um, like a completion bag rather that you know if i get this i will never get cancer again that was my promise to my husband to never put him through this situation again so he got this for me um as part of that promise i love the little heart cut i'm not wearing my necklace right now but i generally wear a rose gold return to tiffany um dog tag uh, with the, the heart shape on it. Um, so I love it for that. It's just classic Tiffany in a bag. For me, it's kind of weird getting a handbag from Tiffany and they use a, this was made in Italy. So I'm just leaving you a little background of this bag real quick because I haven't talked about it on the channel yet. So the bag that was made in Italy, I'm assuming from one of the same factories Louis Vuitton makes their bags in because they are now a part of LVMH, Tiffany is. Um, the leather, it, it's not bad leather. It's not bad leather at all, but it's also not, as soft as I was expecting. Um, still a lovely handbag. I still use this handbag all the time. I love this handbag, um, but it's the it feels a bit more on the, the cheaper end for a $1,500 bag, um, which is wild to me, absolutely wild. That should not feel that way. Um, but it is a beautiful bag. It's a bag that has held up. This bag is the new size and it holds a lot. I would say it's very comparable to the Alma BB. I love this chain detail on this bag right here. Just a piece of jewelry. I do wish that you were able to take the chain off and wear it as a necklace or a bracelet or something like that for the price that you're paying for this. Um, you know, it'd be nice to be able to do multiple things with it. It does come with a detachable strap, which I actually use for my Alma, because as you guys know, um, I bought my Alma secondhand and it did not come with a strap. Um, and it does have feet, though the feet to me are weird because the feet are leather. And it's just like, why not make it metal? Especially since Tiffany's is known for jewelry, have some more metal detail in the back. Um, those are just some quick like complaints, you know, just things I noticed about this bag. But overall, I feel like this really matches like the Barbie Poor aesthetic. It is so stinking cute. I get compliments on this bag every single time I wear it. And honestly, for all the complaints I have about the bag, I love wearing the bag and it's just it's such an easy bag to wear um, especially when you just want to have like everything that you need in a small compartment um, this is the bag i gravitate towards a lot and i absolutely love this one okay i don't think i could do a, a barbie core bag without talking about my beautiful speedy 20 in the bi color so the triton pink or triton rose i think is the official color for this pink undertone here with their cream base this is such a scrumptious bag y'all like 
Oh my goodness, I love how pretty this bag is. So right now I just have like a bandeau from the poolside collection on the bag. I figured because I kind of wanted like the by the poolside one, but I didn't want to get another speedy because I already have two speedy twenties. I don't need like another. So I figured getting the bandeau would be like a good kind of compromise for me. So I get like that pool side like feel the bag and then I can take it off in the ball and then have like just this beautiful bag right here but let's turn it around so you guys can actually get a better look at this bag oh my goodness I feel like Barbie would just be like a speedy girl because I do feel like the speedy is kind of like one of the workhorse bags that Louis Vuitton offers and she was a working girl she was a working girl she had her own bank account her own credit card for women in America could even have that stuff so she was a working girl so I feel like she would gravitate towards a bag like this and then the fact that it just has the pinks and the whites it just it looks so 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 good and i oh my goodness you guys already know how much i love this bag i've done two videos on this video 20 so if you want to know more information about that you can definitely go check those videos out but yeah i love this bag i love that this is a band uh bandolier bag bandolier or bandolier i am terrible with french so pardon that but it comes with this beautiful strap here i just have it to cap because um, I like to store it inside of my bag. Um, and you can see I just have some stuff inside my bag right now. Um, I generally keep an organizer in there, um, mainly just to not hold its shape, but um, to keep the inside of this one clean uh, because it is like a lighter interior. And then I have a red one and my black one because the black one's like a black hole. It's hard to see things in there. Um, so I would recommend getting like you know, an organizer for your bag if you're going to get one of these. But this bag literally fits so, 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 so much. Like, and it's tiny, right? This is like a tiny bag. It's a really tiny bag, but it fits a lot. So I don't know. I think if you're going to splurge on a Louis bag and you're looking for something that you're going to be using a lot, um, I would highly recommend the 20. The Alma is a really nice bag too. I really like that. And I think it just depends on your lifestyle because I can fit like my iPad mini in my Alma. I can't fit the mini in the 20. Um, but the 20 is a very good contender of um, a bag to get if you are looking to splurge a little bit. Plus, oh my goodness, this on front leather is just so scrumptious. It feels really, really good, you guys. Um, so yeah, I feel like Barbie would love this bag in her collection, with the white and the pink and the gold. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful bag. Okay guys, sticking with Louis Vuitton, I want to talk about my Pochette Felicia next in this beautiful rose ballerine in the Bernese leather. Oh my goodness, I definitely feel like this would be like a Barbie date night bag for sure. I love using this bag for date nights. Um, this bag, okay, one of the things I want to say is the Louis Vuitton site will tell you that this is a spacious bag, and that is a very bold lie of them. There is nothing spacious about this bag at all. So again, I bought mine the second hand, and then I bought the insert separate, so I only bought the um, wallet insert, which I have some hotel keys um, in there. Um, so I only bought that insert, but as you can see, as you can see, it just one of these inserts takes up so much dang space in this bag that I hardly ever actually use this insert with the bag. I generally stick it into like other bags, bigger bags, so I can have like a bigger, longer, thinner wallet when I want. Um, I generally just use the bag like this. Um, and you can see that that cavity is not big at all. It's not. And it might be different with the canvas versions, or uh, probably not the canvas, but with the um, on-front leather versions, you probably have a lot more give with the bag, with the Bernice and with the canvas. There is not a lot of give with this bag. Um, you get the space you get and it's not a lot with that said i am able to fit pretty much everything that i need like the basic 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 basics that i need very much pared down um in this bag for our short trips short date nights and whatnot but i gravitate towards this bag a lot for date nights i do have a whole lot dedicated
related to this bag in my initial thoughts. When I got it, I'm going on eight months now with this bag and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I love the Verde leather and this is back when Louis Vuitton was doing like kind of some iridescence with the leather. I don't know what happened. My camera cut out so I don't know what, uh, okay. I don't know what happened. My camera cut out so I don't know where we were left off at. Um, but I was talking about how Louis Vuitton used to put in iridescent sparkles into their patent leather and it just looks really, really beautiful. I love this bag. I believe this bag is circa 2017, but I can't remember. I think I put it up on my blog, so you can check it there. But I love this bag. The one thing I want to say though is patent leather. I love patent leather. It's not as scary as a lot of people think. However, it can collect dust and get dust trapped in between like finishing the leather and that can be hard to get out. I had this bag out for a little bit and you guys aren't really able to see it here, but I got some dust trapped in the bag here. Um, and so it doesn't bother me because you know, you live your life and I'm happy to live my life, but that is something that can happen with uh, patent leather. So I just wanted to bring that up, but oh my goodness, it's such a pretty bag. I love it. And like I said, I'm just gonna say that about like every bag <laughs> that I'm showing you guys because I just, oh my goodness, they're gorgeous, they're gorgeous. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're on our last bag. It, it was so hard just to pick five because I have a lot of pink bags here, but I did just pick five and I actually think, I know I said the one I showed you guys, the first one, the walk was probably my most Barbie one, but I don't know, this one is a strong contender too. My square mini, I love this bag so much. So this is my Chanel square mini in patent leather in this bright coral, almost Barbie-esque pink. This bag is literally my favorite summer bag. I bring this bag out like every summer since I've gotten it since like 2020, but I use it in the winter and in the fall a lot too. I've used this bag year round to be honest. I really like the patent leather on this one that it's very squishy. Um, unlike so, um, hold on. Just a comparison, both of these are patent leather bags, right? And this one is like really hard, uh, but this one is so squishy and plush, like a plushy. I really enjoy that. And then this bag, for as small as it is, it's actually, it feels, spacious so again you're not fitting the whole kitchen sink and anything like that in this bag but you can fit a lot more and because the bag has a lot more give um you can put a lot more in there without stretching the bag out to the point where it is harmful for the bag so i just really enjoy using this one this is one of my daughter's favorite bags as well i swear when she grows up she's going to try to steal this one for me and that's okay i'll probably let her have it um so it's just such a good bag right like this would be a great first Chanel bag to have. Um, very similar to the walk, you don't have the zipper compartment up here, but you have a zipper compartment right over here, as well as another slip pocket. You have this wide cavity down here, which I generally have an insert in. I took that insert out though. Um, and then I have the back of Melissa smile pocket here. This bag is in silver and I feel, well, it's silver hardware rather. And I feel like the silver hardware plays really, really nice against just this pinky coral here. It's coming up a little bit red on camera right now, but it's just, oh my goodness. It is a beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, I got this bag, was it 2020 or 2021? I think it was the end of 2020 when I, no, 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 no. I got this back in 2021. I am sorry, you guys. I'm trying to give the right dates. I can't remember anything because it's a little too hot. It's a little too hot in here. Um, I do have blogs on most of these bags. So if you want more information, information, um, some history. I really try to do research on these bags when I post vlogs about them so you can get 
more information about the history and construction and things like that. And I try to go really, really in, um, in depth on my thoughts and wear and tear and how it feels when you're wearing and whatnot. So if you want all of that information, check out the links that I have listed down below for the blogs. Um, so yeah, just a little bit more eye candy for you guys. I am sorry that the lighting is so veritable right now. Um, I know, gosh, that's annoying. So I might try to do inserts for you guys so you guys can get like a better look at a lot of these bags. But yeah, those are my five most Barbie-like bags. I do have so many pink bags though. So, so, so many pink bags. I think I'm going to have to do uh, another pink bag collection because my focus this year wasn't supposed to be on handbags. It was supposed to be on jewelry and I did get some beautiful jewelry pieces. However, I did spend a lot more money on bags than I meant to, but my, my pink bag collection has grown a bit. So uh -huh. I do think for October, I will do another pink bag collection type of video. I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested in that type of stuff, but I'm about to ramble on for a way longer than I should. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day uh -huh. and night. Let me know what your favorite bag was of the bags I showed you, or if you have your own favorite pink Barbie bag or just Barbie bag in general. I don't think Barbie would just have pink bags. Like, I really don't think she would just have pink bags. Let me know what you think would be your favorite Barbie bag, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!